I'm Commander Exegius. Let's continue our series on engineering and take a look at the blueprints available for optional internal modules. We'll be covering the Autofield Maintenance Unit, various limpet controllers, fuel scoop, refinery, and frameshift drive interdictors. We won't be including shields or hull reinforcements, as we'll cover those in more detail in separate videos. Starting with the limpet controllers, collector, fuel transfer, prospector, repair, and recon limpets, we have three blueprint options, lightweight, reinforced, and shielded. Starting with the most common, lightweight, we get an 85% reduction in mass with a 50% reduction to integrity. Given limpet controllers are rarely critical, this is an excellent choice regardless of the build as the lower mass gives better jump range and maneuverability. Next, we have Reinforced, which offers a 300% increase in integrity at the cost of 150% additional mast. Last, we have Shielded, which offers the same 300% integrity increase, but with the doubling of power draw, allowing you to choose which negative affects your build the least between power and weight. For auto field maintenance units, fuel scoops, and refineries, we only have the Shielded blueprint available. Like Limpet controllers, this offers a 300% boost to integrity at the cost of a doubling of power usage. Given the less than critical nature of these modules, save for perhaps fuel scoops, these blueprints are rarely used. Finally, we have the Frameshift Drive Interdictor, which offers us two options, Expanded Capture Arc and Long Range. Starting with the most common, Expanded Capture Arc, we gain a 120% increase to the facing limit allowing you to interdict targets at greater than a 90 degree angle. This comes at the cost of 50% additional power usage and 30% less range. For our last option, we have long range, which increases the range by 60% at the cost of 50% additional power draw, 30% less facing limit, and 30% additional mass. None of these modules offer experimental effects, simplifying your choices. Hopefully this look at optional internal blueprints will help you choose the best options for your build. Once again, this has been Commander Exegius, reminding you to fly dangerously, and thanks for watching. If you found that look at engineering helpful, I hope you'll check out my other videos covering blueprints for other modules. I also hope you'll join me on my weekly live streams, Tutorial Tuesdays, and Friends on Fridays, and that you'll consider supporting my efforts via Patreon.